Hi there! Sprite masks are an easy way to quickly hide and show certain objects at runtime. Today I'm going to show you how to create an x-ray-like effect using sprite masks in Unity. To demonstrate our effect, I have a little test dummy here. His name is Bob. He's composed of a bunch of different layers that I'm going to try to hide and show when I'm using this x-ray. Okay, I'm here in a new project. I've already imported our four items here. Let's drag them into the scene. Okay, first things first, the layering here is really inconsistent. Ideally, I'd like to have this guy's skin be at the very front and then everything else behind the skeleton. To do this, we can change the order in the layer that's shown here of each object. The higher the number, the closer it is to the camera. So we'll give, for example, this guy's skin a layer of two, the skeleton a layer of one, and then the heart and the brain a layer of zero. Alternatively, you could also try this by adding different sorting layers. You just go here and add one and you can make one for, for example, the skin and then for the skeleton. And then if you wanted, you could just go here and select your layer. I'm not going to do that for now, but that's how you would do it. Okay, this guy is properly sorted now. Now let's create the sprite mask. In the hierarchy, just right click and go to 2G objects, sprite mask. And now you can see there's this little circle in the screen. You can change it from a circle to another type of object, like a square, if you want to. Let's do that. While I'm at it, I'm also going to quickly scale it up. Okay, you've noticed nothing has happened so far. To make something actually start happening, let's go over to our skin and select the mask interaction mode from none to visible outside mask. Now you can see that when we move around the mask, the skin hides away. Okay, that's great. Now a sprite mask can do more than just hide away an object, it can also make something just show up. Let me create a new guy to demonstrate. Okay, I've reordered the second guy a little bit so that his innards are outside. What I'd like the sprite mask to do for him is to just show the skin and hide the other objects. To do this, let's select our innards and by mask interaction, let's set visible outside mask. Now you'll notice if I move the mask over to him, the objects all hide. Now we don't want this to happen, we actually want the guy's skin to be shown when we hover over it. Also when we hover away, we'd like his skin to disappear. To achieve both of these, if we go to the skin, all we have to do is do visible inside the mask. Now it'll sh only show when it's inside the sprite mask. You can see this as I hover over it. Now we have not changed anything on our sprite mask here, but it still works and does the opposite effect on both of these people. Okay, great, our sprite mask is working wonderfully as intended. I'd like to make it a bit prettier because right now you can't really see the outline. Let's give it one. I'm going to create a simple sprite as a child. Let's make it a square. Let's make it a bit bigger than its parent object. And let's just make sure that the mask is visible outside the mask. I'm also going to make it black. Then I'm going to duplicate the square, make it visible inside the mask, and give it a slight tinted white. So that way it's see-through. Okay, now you can see we have a slightly transparent view when we look through a person. There is a slight clipping problem. You can see here at the edges, this is not what we want. To fix this, we can of course just increase the order and layer to something like five, and boom, it's in front of our guy. By our first guy, I'd also like to have him have a background when we're x-raying through him. I don't want the background to be the same as when it's just hovering over anything. Let's do this by grabbing the guy's skin, duplicating it and putting it on layer negative one. This way it is the furthest back. I'll also make this visible inside the mask and I'll change the color to something dark. While I'm at it, I'm also gonna change the scale of it. And now let's try that out. Okay, you can see now that whenever we x-ray, we have a clear background behind our character. If you wanted extra customization, you could of course just make another sprite, but this one also has a different size than the original. You can see if we hover over a bit to the edge, we can see that it's a bit bigger than the original sprite. Okay, now this is, you can of course also make it smaller if you want to do it that way around, but the choice is yours. Okay, let's focus a bit more on our first guy. I'm gonna delete our second guy and place him in the middle. Now, ideally I'd like to have two different sprite masks, one that looks at the bones and one that looks at the organs. Let's create those. Now our innards here are on layer zero and our skeleton is on layer one. Also, let's set the innards here to visible inside mask, since we only want the skeleton and our organs to be visible by separate sprite masks. Okay, now we're in our sprite masks. 
This is going to be the one that we're going to use to look at our skeleton, so I'll quickly rename it that. To make sure we can only look at certain layers, all you have to do is enable the custom range. Now we also have to give a range to this. Since our squares here are in layer 5, we're going to give it a front of 5, which is the furthest forward we want to look. And since the skeleton is on layer 1, we're going to have to go 1 behind that layer. So 1 minus 1 is 0 in this case. And then it'll only look at those sprites. You can see now that it looks only at the skeleton when we hover over our object. You can also see that if we change our back here to minus one, that the organs appear again. This is because this back end is not inclusive, whereas the front end is. Anyway, our fix should now be simple. All we have to do is duplicate this mask and change the values of it. So let's duplicate that and rename it. I've also quickly changed the colors of the squares here. Anyway, all we have to do now is reduce our layer here to minus one to start seeing the organs again. But now we have a problem. We only want to see the organs and not the skeleton. The solution to this is a rather sneaky one, but there is nothing technically stopping you from just taking your sprite mask, copying it and pasting it as a child. So all we have to do is make sure we have our front end working with layers one through five and then we can just have our back end working here with layers minus one to zero. Now you can see if we move our sprite mask around here, only the organs are visible. But in fact, when we overlap, they'll both show. Okay, great, that's it. Now we have everything we want. We've got our organ sprite mask here, and we've got our skeleton sprite mask, and they both work wonderfully. And when they overlap, you get to see both of the objects. Anyway, that was today's video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's free and it helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching you guys. I'll see you next time.